the warning for salvation. Today's episode, The Lack of the Fear of the Lord. The world is upside down. We have experienced and witnessed the chaos that has now become our society. Life on this planet is getting more difficult by the day. Irreverence and lack of respect for God is the trademark of the current generation, which ignores and scorns at His word. The lack of the fear of the Lord is the cause of the disastrous consequences that we have been witnessing and this only confirms that we are living in the end times. Pay attention to what is written and see for yourself as to whether or not we are precisely at this moment. But know this, that in the last days perilous times will come. For men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderers, without self-control, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, haughty, lovers of pleasures rather than lovers of God. The further a creature moves away from the Creator, the more lost and irresponsible they become. This is the reason for the pandemonium that the earth has become. Many people associate the fear of God with being scared or apprehensive when, in fact, it means a profound respect and reverence for His holiness, power and righteousness. It is this respect that prevents us from doing what is wrong. We expect to witness this respect from those who do not believe in Him. However, in these days that precede the coming of the Lord Jesus, it is not difficult to see an increasing lack of the fear of the Lord by those who call themselves Christians. At the beginning of faith, of the first love, everything was perceived as holy and with good eyes, purity, serving God, tithes and offerings, the word coming from the altar, even the little details were important. After all, for those who were rescued from the worst abyss, all of that was a new chance at life given by God. However, as time passed, the little things started to fall by the wayside. They do not pray as they used to and do not fast. They were last seen on WhatsApp a minute ago, whereas they last opened their Bible five days ago. Evangelizing? No chance. Then, spiritual decline sets in. They start to see what is holy differently. They allow themselves to follow bad examples, to touch what is sacred, and do not accept to be contradicted. They stop being servants to become the master of themselves. This is why we see many that used to be in the presence of God and were even used by Him, acting as though they were never introduced to Him, attacking and vilifying what one day had saved them. They carry hate and hurt inside themselves, which, if not removed, will take them to total destruction. One of the biggest tragedies that can happen in our life is to lose the essence of respect and reverence for the sacred things. Whoever trades the altar for the gold and the glory of this world does not have that fear of God anymore. The fear of God is something precious, which maintains us, protects and strengthens us. It is our honor to God. The eternal salvation is conquered through faith, but only the fear of God keeps us saved. May the spirit of godly fear be within us until the last day of our lives. <laughs>